Maybe I'll start because, like, Perfect. you line up. Hold on, wait, look at me. Thought. <laughs> no, we'll talk for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very enjoyable uh, even uh, despite the fact that we were locked in a room for 12 hours with each other at a time but uh, it's uh, an it's experience you just won't get anywhere else outside of this competition there's no other competition like it that's run I saw the USB Inter Colleges Challenge competition to be a great place to practice the skills that we don't get a chance to to practice in college such as problem solving uh, teamwork presentation skills USB have been a very strong support of engineering education and the engineering profession for many years and we also very close links into the, into the Institute Chartered Accountants and we wanted to encourage those linkages. As, a, as an academic staff member uh, I, I got a lot out of this competition. We're quite uh, separated into our different faculties but this competition allowed us to bridge that. We've also developed contacts, excellent contacts with the ESB and we've also developed contacts with other universities. We, we believe the future research and the new ideas for the energy future, all, will all, a lot of it will come from universities because that's where research is going on and we're very keen to take that research and apply it in our business. Our team is represented by mechanical, civil, uh, computer sciences and a business student so we had a very uh, good blend we feel with three engineers and a business student. Going in no one knew what to expect and uh, when, they, when they gave us the challenge that morning I think we were all a bit shocked but uh, we just got down to it and you know broke it down, tacked it part by part. The practical applications in real life of having to work with a business student as an engineer and with other engineers from other faculties in a high pressure environment, it, it, it's, a, it's a situation that you won't actually get anywhere else in university until you go out into employment. When you're in a high pressure environment and you're working in a team, you have to be able to take constructive criticism and move on and to have that under our belt before we go out into the real world and to be able to talk about it when you meet employers. Well, experience like that is what people look for and it's what will set you apart. We did have a, a good time, we met lots of students, we networked, but we also got exposure to ESB staff. Going into the lectures uh, that the ESB ran that day during the competition, uh, it was really, really eye-opening. As winners of the ESB's Intercolleges Challenge, it was an excellent opportunity to be able to get to go to Canada. Well, Dublin was really amazing, but Canada was on a whole nother level. These people were at an extremely high level. They were all really, really good at what they did. We were all very nervous delivering the presentation, but uh, we kind of felt that everything that we had done to build up to this point was converging and coming together then, so it was just, it was just a, a fantastic feeling. When I turned around and I saw all our peers clapping and applauding us, that will stick with me for a long time. It, it was a, a life-changing experience. So it's given me confidence to put myself forward more and to express myself more. We all got offered placement here in the ESB. So I've just started that now, five weeks ago. And it's been a really interesting experience to see how the ESB works, to see what working life is like. Oh, I was delighted. I was really, really happy that I had responded to Dennis's email back in August and it was a great experience. It is a really good way of universities demonstrating how practical their education is and how they can compete against peer groups internationally. The, the university was able to put itself on the world stage to really showcase the knowledge and expertise that we have in the university. For anybody looking to take part in this competition, I'd do it. It's an unregrettable experience. And good. <laughs>